In this video, I'm going to show you how to stitch the lavender kit from our botanicals range. This is a really lovely kit using two main stitches, satin stitch and French knots. So what's in the kit? So you have your hoop and a hoop guide showing you how to use it. You've got this little card telling you a little bit about lavender and the meaning of lavender. You have a full stitch instruction booklet. Now this includes the stitches used across the entire botanicals range, so you won't need to use all of them. Then you've got your stitch plan, and this is the one which shows you which stitches you do need to use. So you see it has numbers on it, and those then match up to your numbers of coloured thread. So it's a colour plan that matches up the colours. And you see at the top here, it shows you what areas need to be stitched in what way. On the back, we've got some high resolution photos of the stitching, so you can refer to these if you aren't sure. And then you've got your fabric, and your fabric there is printed with the design, and we also have a couple of needles on the end, a large eye and a small eye, just for your different preferences. I like a small eye needle, but I know others prefer large for threading. Now, if you've got the kit for stitching on clothing, instead of the fabric, you will have this folder containing patches to stitch. Now these patches still match up to the stitch plan, so you see the same flowers are there, so you still follow the same instructions for it. And there's a separate quick little video showing you how to embroider on clothing, so do refer to that one. So first up, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our satin stitch. And satin stitch is what we use across all the threads and the stems of lavender. I'm going to grab my hoop and I'm going to place that onto my fabric, positioning it over one of the first flowers. So I'm using the first colour, colour number one, the dark green thread, and I'm going to cut an arm's length of thread here. Throughout all the botanicals, we stitch everything with three strands of thread. So you'll need to take your six strands and then you separate out three strands. So take the remaining three and wind them back onto the bobbin. This is just good practice for keeping yourself all organised. Right, I'm using my small needle here, and so I'm going to grab the thread and I'm going to thread up my needle. And then I'll tie a knot in the end. Now you can tie a knot however which way you would like. You just want one big enough to secure your thread. So, referring to my design plan, just to show you how it works, you see it says all these sections are stitched in satin stitch. And then I can refer into the big booklet, and the big booklet, I can go to the satin stitch section, which is there within straight stitch, and that shows me how to do it. But I'll show you how to do it in this video as well. What you'll notice is I'm using quite small satin stitches here. You have a way and a choice of which direction your stitch is in but I much prefer it to have a short little stitch as I think this creates a much better finish. Now as you stitch, do remember this white ink is permanent, so you want to make sure you cover it over fully, so you'll see that I'm extending my stitches slightly beyond the printed lines. So the way satin stitch works is you bring the needle in from one side to the other and you work in a looping manner. 
So if, say, my needle always goes in from the left-hand side, then I'll always work in that same manner throughout. So you can tell it's working if the reverse of the design looks the same as the front. You should have a thick body on the back as well as the front. And that's as simple as it is. You're going to keep going till you fill in the entire shape. And I'll show you the back here. So you see the back looks the same as the front. I'm just going to secure my thread in place, running it underneath those stitches there, and then tying off any excess. So when you do your satin stitch, I really recommend doing this all first. So do it before you do your French knots. So your satin stitch runs underneath the sections of French knots. But for ease in this video, I'm just going to go on and show you how to do the French knots in the next bit, and I won't have done the satin stitch first. So I'm coming onto my French knots, and the key thing here is you want to start from your lighter purples and then work into your kind of richer purple tones. So first, I'm just going to thread my needle up, and I'm following exactly the same process as before, threading up with three strands of thread and tying a knot winding back the excess thread onto the bobbin. So I bring my needle up and then I wrap the thread around the tip of the needle. Here I'm wrapping a couple of times and then put the needle back through the fabric, holding the thread taut and pulling it down. Now most people's French knots um, end up messy only if they don't keep the thread taut, so don't use their left hand properly, or if they rush it. So take your time over your French knots to create perfect little round shapes. But if something goes wrong, like that one's a little loose, don't worry, just put another French knot right next to it and you'll cover over any slightly messy ones. So you see I'm just randomly putting my French knots in here and I'm leaving space because I come back in with the next colour and then fill in some of those gaps. And this is more just fill out the way that a lavender plant is, you know, with the little spacing of the flowers. So I'm going in with my second purple and I'm adding these in and then again leaving some gaps. And then I'm going to go in my third purple. And that will fill in any of these gaps and it just creates this lovely blended gradual colours that really reflect that lovely summer lavender. So that's as simple as it is, and you'll keep going and always work from the outside, the lighter end, working into your darker purple. So the final bit to show you is just stitching the title. And so that we're going to do in a back stitch. But first up, I'm just going to move my hoop. So I'm moving my hoop down, and so I can properly see the title. So I bring my needle up from the back to the front and I'm doing this all in a back stitch. And so a back stitch just works where you bring your needle up and then you work back towards your last stitch. And that way your needles go right alongside each other. So you see I'm going back into my last stitch. I bring my needle forward and then I go back. And that's why it's a back stitch. And it's just a really nice way of stitching details like this. Try keep your stitches short, keep your lengths consistent, and just overstitch the title. And that's it. That's as hard as this kit gets. It's a lovely exercise in satin stitch and French knots to stitch your lavender. I really hope you enjoy creating this design and enjoy all those designs from throughout our botanicals range. If you have any questions, as ever, don't hesitate to get in touch.